so now continuing with the follow up diagram of ham we have seen <coughs> excuse me we have seen how to draw the follow up diagram for universe uniform velocity motion simple harmonic motion and uniform acceleration retardation motion now we will see how to draw it for cycloidal motion that is the last one that we need to study so for cycloidal motion we cannot simply we can draw the same rectangle and divide it into equal number of parts again i recommend to draw equal number of parts as even numbers and preferably six because it is easier to divide a circle into six we need a circle division in this one so to draw the cycloidal motion diagram we need to draw a circle on the corner of outstroke if you want to draw cycloidal motion for outstroke as well as we want to draw a circle on the return stroke corner also with a radius that needs to be calculated and radius can be calculated using this formula the formula is very simple stroke second that is in between but so stroke or the maximum lift is equal to 2 pi r and r is the radius of the circle that we need to draw so we know stroke is 30 mm so we can calculate 2 pi r is equal to 30 mm so r will be 30 over 2 pi that will come approximately as 4.77 mm that you can approximate to be 5 mm so but no, no not much approximation is clear if you can draw a point between 4 mm and 5 mm it will be better so radius will be 4.47 centimeters or 477 mm and we have i have taken a scale as i explained in the earlier session that 30 mm i have taken oh not 30 degree 30 mm i have taken as 6 centimeters so 6 centimeters means each mm is double so if i have to draw 4.77 mm i have to actually draw 9.54 mm in my scale because i have taken 0.5 mm as 1 mm so that will come approximately equal as 10 mm or 1 centimeter again approximation only but i will try to manage 9.5 so you will get a clear idea so take a square rule or you can take it in the compass 9.5 mm if you have taken the scaling as i have did or if you have taken the actual scaling 30 mm as 30 mm itself then you can take 4.7 mm in your rule or in your so that will exactly come at 1 mm or approximately 1 mm you can place it take on the stand take it as 1 mm so online it is difficult so let's take a compass and draw it so from that corner as the center draw the radius with 1 mm again after that what you have to do i will draw it with a red color so it is easy to understand and distinguish also with the radius equal to 4.7 mm for 1 is to 1 scale i have taken 2 is to 1 scale so sorry 1 is to 2 scale so it is 2 is to 1 scale so it is equal to 9.54 mm approximately equal to 1 mm so after drawing this for i am now, now explaining for outstroke only return stroke i will explain later so after drawing this we have divided the outstroke into six equal number of parts so now we have to divide the circle into six equal number of parts for that what you need to do is we know 360 degrees is the angle we need to divide the circle by placing a horizontal line that is same as the line that we have drawn outstroke and return stroke as and start marking 60 degrees divisions so first 60 will be here sorry first 60 will be here second 60 will be the 120 line that will be here 180 we already know we can extend that line since and again rotate that and mark the sixty degrees in online actually you can use a uh, protractor to rotate to 60 or you can use a compass also to cut the first degree and take that circumference length in the compass and you can do the rest with the compass but uh, I will 
use this method for now so let's now draw that uh, lines from the center you draw a line of the first 20 actually we only need to have that line cutting point only so again other line that cuts the 60 this one 60 other one is 660 and we know the other one horizontally to that one actually what we require is only that last two points so we can erase these extensions what we require is the cutting point on the circle only so what i'll do is i'll erase that you can also erase it in your notebook or paper so now draw the horizontal lines with that connection points of upper 180 or above 180 also you just draw the horizontal line between the points where it cuts across the circumference of the circle so again horizontal line from this point to this point you draw another horizontal line to cut across it and you can extend this vertical line below also because we need a cutting point of that also extend the vertical line yeah so the points we require is actually this point and this point and as well as this point this point we already know but that other two points has to be got from dividing the circle into six number of parts which we have divided the outstroke also into now what you have to do is as same as any other method first draw the diagonal from that point to the corner to corner of the outstroke now from this point you draw a line that is parallel to the line that we just draw parallel to the line it will cut across somewhere if you draw it parallel i am not using any set square you can use a set square to draw the line that i draw that is this one to be parallel to the actual one that is corner to corner that you will get accurately so i'm just drawing that parallel by seeing you can draw it by using set square and again from this line also you draw a parallel line to the original line that we draw okay. this line should be parallel even though mine looks not parallel but you can draw parallel lines this three lines should be parallel first line you draw from corner to corner then you draw parallel lines from this point and this point now if you draw it correctly you will get a point here also somewhere very close but then this one then the middle one that one and again very close those will be the marking lines to draw the displacement diagram so if i take that color again and start smoothly passing over the points that will be the displacement diagram for the outstroke and since return stroke is having same cycloidal motion in our case but it may have simple harmonic motion uarm everything so you should use that methodology for time being now i am using the same for return and outstroke so you can understand how to draw it for return and outstroke again you take the same radius at the core this time at the corner of the return stroke my scale was 1 is to 2 so i am taking that as 1 is to 2 so approximately 1 centimeter i have to mark okay. so again draw the circle for the return stroke now again you divide that return stroke and since you have this line if you have both as same lines then you can extend this line but i am using again protractor you again divide it by keeping a protractor here six i have divided the return stroke also into six so you divide the center of the circle and again divide it in the horizontal direction with six that will be first one another 120 since we already have the horizontal, I'm going not going to mark it. Yeah. 
so this will be the next 60 and this will be the next 60 so now again we have to use the same method that we did that is to find the points that cut across the circle with these points of division you can erase the rest of the circles as you did you only know the points on the circles so erasing the those unnecessary construction lines now even though mine looks a little off you can draw it accurately so horizontal line across those two horizontal line across those two that line is a little off so you can guess it so it will be approximately like this maybe because of angle I took was a little off yeah so now so again you have to have this point this point as well as a point that you get from extending that vertical towards to meet at that point so that point these three points are used to draw the construction so now from again corner to corner first line then from this point to parallel to the corner to corner line that we got you will get a point always parallel to parallel then again parallel to the middle line again which is corner to corner corner to corner parallel line to that so you should draw that parallel correctly again you will get a points like this one then this one middle one second one and if you draw it correctly you will get a point somewhere around here so those will be the points you have to draw the circle with not circle sorry the displacement diagram with that will be the displacement diagram for the cycloidal motion in the return stroke as well as out stroke so again we have to name it like this one will be A, B, C, D, E, F and G, then again H, I, J, K, L, M, oh, M is here then this will become N and this one will become O and if there is need you can draw that one also uh, lines also but I am not going to make it so let us keep it here so now again for drawing the uh, cam profile you have to mark the lines which extends so this one will be one line So first line will be here, a blue line, second line will be here, okay, let us take blue, that will be contrasting. So first line, blue line will be this one, second one will be this one, third one that cuts at E, fourth one that cuts at D, C, if you draw it correctly there will be a small line at B you will get it and again here also H I J to 1 dash K to 1 dash 3 dash C to 4 dash small line you will get again here very small line but you will get it clearly if you draw that parallel lines correctly it will be very small but still you will get it so those blue lines will be the cycloidal motion so this is how you draw the cycloidal motion 
direction. You have to remember this equation to get the radius of the circle here. And you have to remember you have to convert the radius that you get from millimeters to centimeters and to the scale. I hope this is clear. This is the cyclotron motion. And again, you might not get both return stroke and outstroke as same motion. It may be return stroke, may be simple harmonic, and outstroke may be cyclotron motion. So only draw this part for outstroke and you draw this methodology for symbol harmonic motion in the return stroke. Similarly, you should be able to combine it. That's why I have taught you or shown you how to do the return stroke as well as outstroke separately. So questions may be having a return stroke with a similar uh, different than the outstroke. So normally symbol harmonic will be for outstroke and maybe uniform acceleration or uniform deceleration, uh, sorry, uniform velocity or uniform acceleration retardation on the return stroke. Likewise, you should be able to combine. So this is all the displacement diagrams we have shown. You should be able to draw any displacement diagram combination that is given. So hope this has helped you. First one was velocity, uniform velocity diagram, just straight lines. Then semicircle method for simple harmonic motion. Then middle line cutting technique. There is no name. I'm just giving you a colloquial name. So middle line cutting technique for uniform acceleration retardation motion, then cycloid will be corner circle method. And only for cycloidal motion, you do have to do a simple calculation for this. And this rectangle drawing and cutting is all same for everything. So it is recommended, please cut the or divide the outstroke and return stroke into equal number of parts and preferably six number of parts. So six is a number that I prefer or normally universally preferred because it is easier to cut for semicircle as well as for cycloidal the circle into six parts because protractor can be used to get 60 degrees easily or 30 degrees easily. Hope it has helped you. Thanks.